It's been quite a while since my last video, so whenever I go through these breaks where I have uh, a few weeks to a couple of months without a video, I need to record something quick to kind of shake off the cobwebs and to get into the groove of talking to the camera again and uh, figuring out the, um, the best gear setup since some gear has changed and my shooting location and shooting situation has changed as well. So that's what this video is. Just a quick hello. Maybe we'll talk about a few updates of what's going on since the last time we talked and what I have planned in general for the upcoming year. First off, happy belated new year. Welcome to 2022. I hope this year is gonna be awesome for all of you. If you're new to the channel or relatively new to the channel, welcome, it's great to have you. Um, this goes for everyone who's watching. Just double check to see if you're subscribed. Uh, YouTube does a good job of feeding you videos from from uh, creators that you might like, regardless of whether you're subscribed or not. So it's always a good idea to double check if you're subscribed to the channels that you want to be subscribed to. So since the last time we talked, I have simplified my camera gear. I had a handful of digital cameras, handful of film cameras of a few different brands, and most of that was, would sit on the shelf. And I, I really wanna concentrate on projects this year, concentrate on creating projects and making more prints. So that being said, I, I didn't see myself switching cameras a ton throughout the year. I'm going to have a couple cameras and that's it and uh, concentrate on the projects. With that in mind, I sold a lot of that old camera gear or old used camera gear and put that money towards a new Fujifilm X-T4, which I'm filming on right now. I didn't really intend to for that to happen, but as I was just unloading used gear, I started to see how much value I had in a lot of that, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to get a camera that's been on my wish list, a camera that I know I could use, and I know I'll like, since I'm very familiar with the Fujifilm system. I love the X-T line of cameras, and the X-T4 just fit right into, into my system. Uh, so as of right now, as of today, my two cameras that I own are the X-T4 and the Fujifilm X-H1. So it's great because both of those have solid video and photo features. So in theory, I could rotate between the two for both kinds of, uh, uh, for all kinds of projects that I wanna create. But the reality is I'm loving the X-T4 so much, I haven't picked up, picked up my X-H1 much lately. Um, we'll, see how, we'll see how that changes o over time. But as of right now, the X-T4 is the only camera I feel like I need and I'll dive into the X-T4 in a lot more detail in another video. I'll do um, maybe a review video, an overview video of it, or just my take on the camera in general, since there are a ton of review videos out there already on it. But the X-T4 is um, my biggest piece of camera gear that I picked up since we last talked. I think the last video I posted was a recipe for the X-E1, I think. And that, that video is doing well. Those recipes are doing well. I will continue to create recipes. And the cool thing is, now that I have the X-T4, I can finally start creating some recipes for the X-Trans 4 sensor. And as of today, January 9th, 2022, it is still the most current sensor. Now, that won't be for very long, possibly for only another month or two. But this is my first chance uh, really using the X-Trans 4 sensor, and I'm excited to create some stuff with it and share that with you. The other thing I picked up recently is a new photo printer. I've always loved the idea of a, the printing my photos. And about seven years ago, I got the Canon Pixma Pro 100. And for seven years, that served me extremely well. And it just broadened my uh, horizons for photography. Printing my photos uh, made me realize the areas I need to work on. It made me areas that I want. It made me realize some areas that I want to uh, concentrate on. It, it made me um, just explore a lot of different details about my photography that I didn't think about before when I'm just looking at the photos on screen. So I fell in love with printing with the 100, but recently I've been really itching to step my printing up a notch with a printer that had a little bit better black and white capabilities. After doing a lot of research. I discovered that the Epson P700 
and P900 both checked a lot of boxes for me. I was considering the P900, but the P700 just fit perfectly into the budget that I had. So that's what I picked up. I picked up the Epson P700 photo printer, and I'm loving it so far. So again, just like the X-T4, I will do a separate video on that, or probably a lot of videos on that, actually, because um, that's going to be one of the most important pieces of my kit this year, that, that printer. I've only had it for like a little over a week, but I've already printed um, at least 20 photos from it. And every photo that's come out of that printer so far is a, is a keeper. And it's just really, really, it's a really, really great printer. And I'm, I'm happy I have it. That's essentially it for like a gear update. This year will be a mix of reviews and recipe videos and other craft type photography um, philosophy type videos. It's going to be a mix of the stuff I was doing in 2021. Not a ton different. It's going to be, like I said, recipe videos. Uh, it's going to be some gear review, depending on what I'm sent. If I'm not sent a ton, then my gear review uh, videos are going to be down to very, very, very low amounts. My main thing for 2022 is creating some projects. And I just need to figure out my balance of what I share here and what I'm going to start sharing on a Patreon account. Because I think some people come to this channel for certain bits of information. They come for a recipe, they come for a review, or they come for some tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, I realize that not everyone's going to be interested in a behind-the-scenes type journey. So a, the Patreon account, the Patreon channel might be perfect for that. As well as my blog. The blog will always be there and the blog might always, the, the blog will always have a little bit of a different path than this channel will. But that's kind of it. It was kind of a rambling video. Uh, as I often do, I just needed to shake the cobwebs off, get a video out to you guys, say Happy New Year, and let you know that uh, we have X-T4 in-house, I have a new photo printer, the Epson P700 in-house, and I have some cool projects lined up using those two pieces of gear. So I hope everything is well with all of you. I hope you guys are safe and healthy, and I hope you guys have a great year. Thank you, as always, for watching, and please pass these videos around. Let's try to get my subscriber count up. I'm almost, I'll be, I'm on knocking on the door at 3,000 soon, which is amazing to me. I, I, I remember being jazzed for getting 20 subscribers. So I appreciate every one of you, and I will talk to you soon.